Good morning, friends. Uh, this is uh, with respect to the AIB 17th examination uh, for the practicing advocates who have taken the oath, who are required to pass this exam to continue the advocacy. The exam will be on 5th February 2023. Some of uh, my friends requested that I can share some information on this examination. Uh, so the basic information is that uh, exam will be for the three and a half hours and uh, 100 questions each question carries one mark and a minimum passing is 40 marks uh, there is no negative mark and uh, the subject syllabus for this is it will cover all the 19 topics uh, of uh, law, law related subjects which includes uh, constitutional law uh, then CRPC, CPC, ADR, there are several, uh, 19, that I'll be anyway posting it. Uh, here, the purpose of this uh, uh, session is uh, uh, to go through the previous questions. Uh, I have collected about uh, uh, previous A, B questions, around 1000 questions plus. I thought uh, if we go through this 1000 questions, there will be a chance of at least getting a kind of a reputation of 50%. That is uh, at least 50 questions in this, which may help us. And obviously, we also need to use some common sense and uh, our own knowledge to get this. I hope this will be useful. Uh, I am posting this because some of our friends requested to share this information. Okay. So, let me start with the uh, question paper. And then also, I will go through the answer sheet also. I mean, answer paper, answers also. So, that... Uh, if there is any mistake in my question uh, or answer, I request uh, please uh, forgive me uh, because uh, I try my best to uh, compile these things. Okay. Yeah, let us start. The first question, who categorizes the subject of jurisprudence as expositorial jurisprudence and sensorial jurisprudence? The answer for this question is Bentham. B. Who described the jurisprudence as a lawyer's extra version? The answer for this is a Julius Stone. The fiction theory is related to which of the following concept? For this, the answer is legal personality. The Consumer Protection Act was enacted in the year 1985, 86, 2005, and 2008. The correct answer is 1986. The appeal against the award of the claims tribunal under the Motor Vehicle Act 1988 can be made under the section. Answers are 171, 172, 173, 174. The correct answer is section 173. Amendment in May Motor Vehicle Act In 1994, the compensation in case of a death of the person is, the correct answer is 50,000 rupees. That is option B. Under vicarious liabilities, the liability is joint, several, or both, joint and several, or either of the above, depending upon the facts of the case. The correct answer is, the uh, option C, that is both joint and several. In torts, in case of a defam defamation, the options are intention to defame is not necessary, intention to defame is necessary, both one or two are correct, either one or two are correct. So here the correct option is intention is not necessary, that is option A. When was the next question? When was the Advocate Act introduced? 1962, 59, 61, and 1966. The correct answer is 1961. The Bar Council of India consists of the following as ex officio members Attorney General of India, Solicitor General of India, both A and B, none of the above. The right answer is both A and B, Attorney General as well as the Solicitor General. Indian Bar Committee was constituted first time under the chairmanship of Sir Edward Chamiria in the year. Options are 1927, 61, 49 and 23. The right answer is 1923. The power 
of disciplinary committee under the advocate act provided under section 42 section 53 section 40 and section 36 the correct answer is section 42a the indian council of arbitration was established in the options are 1956, 1976, 1965, 1996. The right answer is 1996. Lex arbitrary means options are arbitrary tribunal sitting in India can apply to the Singapore. Just law, arbitrary law, none of the above. Option is A. Arbitrary tribunal sitting in India can apply to the Singapore. The next question is Indian in India the Arbitration and Conciliation Act was enacted in options are 1992, 93, 94, 96. The right answer is 1996. Next question section 10 subsection 1 of the Arbitration and Conciliation Act talks about Options are valid, sorry, uh, the Conciliation Act talks about power of arbitration, numbers of the arbitration, capacity of arbitration, none of the above. The right answer is number of arbitrations. Next question is, a Sunni Muslim marries with a Kitabia girl. The marriage is considered valid, void, irregular or none of the above. The answer is A, valid. Next question, the Dissolution of Muslim Marriage Act 1939 is based on which school of Muslim law? The correct option is, the options are Hanafi school, Shafi school, Maliki school, Zaidi school, correct, uh, correct option is Maliki school. Next question, under the Hindu Adoption and Maintenance Act 1956, a female Hindu has the capacity to take a son or a daughter in adoption if she is not married, if she is married. If she is a widow and has no sons or a daughter but has a widowed daughter, she can cannot adopt at all. The option is if she is not married, she can adopt. That is option A. Child born of white or a voidable marriage under the Hindu law is. The options are legitimate, illegitimate, illegal, none of the, uh, none of the above. The right option is legitimate. The father of which of the leader has been the deputy prime minister in India? Options are Kumari Mayawati, Miss Meera Kumar, Mrs. Pratibha Devi Singh Patel, Miss Vasundara Raje. The right option is Mrs. Meera Kumar. Who was the constitutional advisor to the Constitutional Assembly of India? The options are Dr. Rajendra Prasad, Dr. B. R. Ambedkar, Dr. B. N. Rao, Dr. The correct answer is B and Rao. That is option C. The concept of the judicial review in India is based on a procedure established by the law, due process of the law, rule of the law, international treaties and convention. The right answer is international treaties and convention. Protection of environment is a constitutional duty, directive principles, fundamental duty, both B and C. The right option is both B and C. The term item education belongs to union list, state list, concurrent list, residuary list. The right option is the concurrent list. While interpreting the phase Equality before the law contained in the Article 14 of the Constitution. The Supreme Court constantly maintained that the equality means the options are absolute equality among being equal treatment of all persons among equals. The law should be equal and should be equal and shouldn't be equally demonstrated. Last option is both B and C. The right answer is C. The number of fundamental rights available in the constitution in India are options are 6, 7, 8, 10. The right option is 6.
Next question, which one of the following fundamental rights was described by Dr. B. R. Ambedkar as the heart and soul of the constitution? Options are right to equality, right to freedom of religion, right to constitutional remedies, all of the above. The option is right to constitutional remedies. Next question, what is the period of appointment of the control and, uh, controller and auditor general in India? Options are 6 years up to 65 year age, 6 years or 65 year age, whichever is earlier, up to 62 years. Option is C, 6 years or 65 year age, whichever is earlier. Next question is, which of the following reads is a bulwark of a personal freedom? Options are co warranto mandamus, habeas corpus and certiorari. The right answer is the habeas corpus. Sub supremacy of the law, equality before law and predominance of the legal spirit are the basic principles of the doctrine of options are colorable legislation, doctrine of separation of powers, doctrine of rule of law, doctrine of excessive delegations. The right option is doctrine of rule of law. Next question, rule of law is the antithesis of arbitration in all civilized societies. It has come to be regarded as a mark of a free society. It seeks to maintain the balance between the opposite notions of individual liberty and public order. This was opined by whom in a famous habeas corpus case. The options are Justice H.R. Karna, Chief Justice Ray, Justice Chandrachur, Justice Bhagavati. The right answer is Justice H.R. Kanna. The next question, the maxim delegate is non-protest delegate means a delegate can further delegate, a delegate cannot further delegate, a delegate must protest delegation objectively, none of the above. The right answer is a delegate cannot further delegate. Next question, the Consumer Protection Act 1986 is predominantly based on UN General Assembly resolution with due negotiation in the options are UNICETRAL, UNCTAD, UN ECOSOC, none of the above. The right option is none of the above. The, actually, the Consumer Protection Act it, is, it depends on the country to country how they, they can make it. Next question, 35. Which of the following is irrelevant fact under the Evidence Act? The options are facts regarding the motive, facts regarding the statement without related conduct, facts regarding the statement clubbed with the conduct, facts which make other relevant fact as highly probable. The right option is the D, facts which make other relevant facts are highly probable. The next question is test of the competency of a witness is options are her being intelligent must be major understanding the nature of the question capable of understanding the nature of the question and giving the rational answer. The right answer is the D capable of understanding the nature of the question and giving the rational answer. Next question is which one is exception to the rule of hearsay evidence? Options are dying declaration, facts forming a part of the same transaction, facts forming the plea of alibi, facts regarding the characters of accused. The right answer is dying declaration. Next question, communication between the husband and wife is treated as a privilege if communication was made during the marriage with the promise of a confidentiality. Was made during the marriage even without promise of a confidentiality. Was made before marriage with the promise of confidentiality. Is made after the marriage. The right option is the B. Was made during the marriage even without promise of the confidentiality. Next question. The leading question can be asked even without permission of the court. During options are examination in chief cross-examination, re-examination, all of the above. The answer is the cross-examination. The next question is, what do you mean by word evidence? 
options are every fact connected with the case facts introduced in the court of law both none of the above the right option is the facts introduced in court of law next question is what is a fact in issue the facts involved in the directly necessary facts to arrive or determine the rights liabilities or immunity both or none of the above the right answer is b necessary facts to arrive to or determine the rights liabilities or immunity next question relevant fact is the facts logically relevant to any fact in issue facts legally relevant to any fact in issue both or none of the above the option is b facts legally relevant to any any fact in the issue the next question is the term local lockout under the industrial dispute act is defined in a section 2l section 2o section 3l section 2m the right answer is section a that is section 2l the term layoff has been defined under the industrial dispute act under the section 2 triple k section 2o section 2l section 3l the right answer is section a that is section triple k trade union act was enacted in the year 1926 46 47 on 1988 the right option is 1926 Next question is the term minimum wage has been described in options A trade union act B industrial dispute act C minimum wage act D none of the above the right answer is in the industrial dispute act the minimum wages act was enacted 1947 the up uh, the next next question is the minimum wages act was enacted in 1921 1923 1947 2007 the the right option is 1923 the trade union act provided options a regist- registration of trade union registration of trade union for workers recognition of the registration of the trade union or jurist person all of the above the right option is all of the above foreign court under section 2 of 5 of cpc means a court situation outside india a court situation outside india with the authority of government of india a court situation in india applying foreign law all of the above the right option is a court situated outside india the authority of the government of india question number 50 judgment under the section 29 means a decree dismissal of appeal statement of the grounds of an order or a decree all of the above the right answer is statement of a grounds of an order of decree or all of the above friends in uh, each section i'll be covering about 50 questions uh, i i beg your pardon the, for the answer for the question 46 is not the b it is a minimum wages act please make a correction here and uh, yeah uh, since i'll be almost uh, there are about 1000 questions and my intention is to make a 20 sessions of 50 questions each uh, if you have any suggestions comments uh, please post uh, your suggestions comments in the comment box uh, as per the norms of the comments allowed in the uh, youtube channel and uh, if you like this you share it with your friends so that they can also get uh, advantage of this and also subscribe thank you very much good day